it's giving real hair this is my hair like this is my hair hey y'all welcome and welcome back to my youtube channel if you're new here it's still girl ashton the line set it's still girl who who bitches ashton the line i don't know if i still like that um intro i mean it's kind of like the og but i don't know Mm. So today, as y'all can see from the title and from here, right now, voila. I'm going to be attempting to do the Jada Bangs hairstyle. I'll put a video or a picture in probably right here or right here. It came out kind of decent. I mean, it's kind of giving Jada. Kind of. I don't know. Still trying to figure out if I really like the style or not. I don't know if it's because I haven't had bangs in a long time. Or if it's just because the bangs are kind of like, you know, see-through. I'm more of like a thick bang type of girl. But... That's besides the point. Today's video is brought to you by RPG Hair. I love this hair company. They have some really bomb hair, especially for beginners. It's very beginner friendly. The knots already come bleached to a certain extent. I like my knots how I like my knots. So I went ahead and bleached the knot. It comes pre-plugged. This was a HD unit but all of their laces are really 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 bomb and this is not just to say it because you know it's a sponsored video or whatever like these are my true genuine feelings if it ever came down to it i would spend my own money on this company like they have some really bomb hair and it it will never steal you wrong so getting into the box and everything that came with it it did come with like a little rat tail comb i can't find my comb right now rat tail comb it came with a wax it came with flyaway balm and this is kind of like a wax stick i've never used this wax stick i use the care care wax stick a little wig cap thing obviously i use the cap bag to put your wig in or whatever and it came with this little elastic band type of thing it's not really elastic band but if your wig was too um big you could like tighten it up with this little thing so that's everything that came in the box like i said if you keep watching you'll see about you know why i don't wear actually wear wig caps anymore and you'll also see me struggling to get this shade up with me so i'm gonna stop talking and i'm gonna get right into the video okay you guys so getting straight don't want my forehead i got a couple marks I, i'm looking a little crazy you see the, the line just really like a line of demarcation and it came from my elastic band like when i would tie my hair up at night and it too tight to wear it caused my skin to break like that's how tight the band was i don't know why i had it i was just trying to like make sure my lace was blended in girl don't do that but that's besides the point you guys saw in the title today i will be telling y'all about why i no longer wear ball caps like why i no longer do the ball cap method i am about to put a ball cap on but i'm not gonna glue it down and after i'm done my hair i'm gonna take it off the reason i put ball caps on while i'm trying to like um put my wig on is to keep my hair from like getting attached to the little hooks and the clips or are in the um the wig you know the cap of the wig so as i was saying as y'all seen in the title basically girl when i would glue my my ball cap down sometimes after i would be done with my wigs i would leave my ball cap on or sometimes when i wasn't even wearing a wig i would just have a ball cap on my hair i would wear a ball cap to sleep i would put my satin scarf on top of my ball cap then i would put my bonnet on why i was doing that I don't really know. I was just going through a period where I just didn't care about my hair. I told YouTube in like a brief way in one of my um, edible videos, my last edible video. But I recently cut my hair in like September because I just stopped taking care of my hair. I wasn't treating it like how I would or how I should have been. Especially with my hair being bleached, I wasn't taking care of it at all. Like I just completely abandoned my hair if you will cut all my hair off because i didn't want to take care of it no more and i was i hated it like i was just so tired of my hair i didn't want it attached to me anymore so i cut it off my goal was to cut it off so i didn't have to deal with it like i wouldn't have to wash it because it was really short i wouldn't have to like detangle it you know what i'm saying like hair is a lot of maintenance especially natural hair especially colored natural hair so i would just walk around the house on my free time and stuff wearing a ball cap just like this all the time like all the time i was on this for like months until i started realizing 
that my hair like my edges on this side mainly they weren't receding but it was like kind of balding i still have my edges my like my hairline right here it wasn't receding it was still there but like from here to here it was like a big gap of like just kind of like baldness like the real thickness would be right here this was going on for probably like two three months until i started acknowledging it because i noticed that it was happening i just didn't do anything about it i didn't tell no one i didn't care like it was like i didn't i had no care in the world for my hair and it started getting really bad to the point like I, it was like really noticeable i was like okay maybe i should call my doctor about this because at that moment, I didn't know what the reason was. I just knew my hair was like balding, I guess. I called my doctor. She referred me to someone who like specializes in scalp and hair. A dermatologist for my hair. Finally got an appointment. I went in. I was telling her that cancer doesn't run in my family. Alopecia doesn't run in my family. So I'm just kind of concerned as to why my hair is like balding. Well, she was asking if I wear wigs and ball caps and stuff like that. And I told her, yeah, and she was like, okay, that's what it is. It's the ball cap. And I was like, hmm, what do you mean? Like, what do you mean? I've been wearing wigs for like four years now. Like, what do you mean? It's the ball cap, it's the wigs. Like, cause I explained to her like, how often I wear a ball cap and you know what I'm saying? Like what I do with the ball cap. She was like, yeah, so the material that it is, is like kind of causes friction, especially around my edges. Cause like, like that's a real like sensitive area, I guess. Basically the ball cap would catch on to my edges, especially at night. I didn't really have any hair. So it would kind of like just slide back over time. I like your bonnet come off at night and shit like that. So y'all more of the story, the ball cap, was gradually over time like i said i wore my hair in the ball cap for months i don't know why like i don't know why i did that i would put a ball cap on then i would put like those little snap bands on then i would put a satin wig on i mean a satin scarf then i would put my bonnet on so it was a lot of tension going on around my edges she said over time it just caused them to recede so basically i had traction alopecia that's what it is she recommended me or she gave me this um this oil i don't know how to pronounce it i'm gonna just show y'all um yeah so she gave me this oil i know it says body oil on it but she said it was for my scalp to help my hair grow back but she said it would take like a year i was already trying to grow my hair out healthily so i was putting rice water in my hair i was using this hair growth oil I stand by this oil girl like you use this oil in a week you're gonna see results literally this oil is so bomb and it's so cheap so i use this hair growth oil and i recently started taking biotin pills so i did a lot of research this happened back in january and she said it would take six months to a year to grow back and i knew that by summertime i wanted to be able to wear my hair out and braids and stuff like that so i was like nah i gotta get this together i gotta get my edges back you know what i'm saying so girl my hair has been growing back and it's literally only been five months it's been only five months so that's the little story time or whatever on why i don't wear a ball cap under my wigs anymore and i'm not saying like com to completely ditch the um ball cap because i feel like it kind of does protect your edges in a way like for people who have low hairlines i feel like it's it's good to wear a ball cap because you definitely want to protect your edges. but i don't think it's bad to wear a ball cap i think just like how i was wearing it like every single night to sleep every single hour of the day just having it on my hairline it definitely will pull your edges some people wear wigs every day all day i typically don't if i'm not doing it for a video or i'm not taking pictures i don't i don't really have a wig on especially like after what the doctor told me if i don't have to wear a wig i shouldn't basically and i took her advice and my hair has been really loving it i feel like it's it likes the freedom it likes the breath of fresh air that it receives on the daily and i like it too the more i don't wear wigs the more i hate wearing them when i have to one thing about me, I'm really excited for the winter. I'm I'm really excited for the summertime because, girl, I'm about to be doing a whole bunch of natural hairstyles, braids, and all of that type of thing. So, really excited. Really wish I had a good um British accent, but sadly I don't. If you guys were wondering, the glue that I'm using is the Hold Me Down Lace Glue by Erica J. 
liquid chlorophyll baby if you don't know you better ask somebody i love liquid chlorophyll it has so many benefits i'm not gonna get into that you can look it up if you care enough it has really good benefits anyway you see i'm not putting too much glue it's like just enough glue like i feel like some people be doing too much with the glue like you don't need all that glue by the time you're gluing down or like you've blended out this side of the glue and you're moving on to this one this side should be getting clear like you don't need that much glue glue goes a long way but i'm gonna stop wrapping y'all up i really wanted to get that story out the way real quick because after i glue my wig down and stuff i want to do like these little bangs and i want to kind of give y'all a tutorial on that my camera cut off but i know like when people go on youtube and they see story times or whatever i hate when somebody takes forever to get into the point of the video like just get to it and lately being on tiktok so much my attention span i noticed that it's kind of shortened out i know that's happened for a lot of different people like more people talk about it so yeah i just wanted to get straight to the point it wasn't no long dramatic story it was just short little info on why i don't wear ball caps anymore so I'll be back once I glue my wig down and all of that good okay, stuff. So I'm back and I'm looking like a snack. About to take your nigga back. <laughs> my lace is on and everything is up and stuck. Now what I'm about to do is, so I'm about to clip my hair. I don't know, something about black hair just, girl, I ain't had black hair in so so long black hair on me is so cute first of all i'm about to cut this lace on the side of my ear because it's pissing me off for real but now nah, y'all black hair on me with the little tan don't play with me don't play with that girl is the sun out well it was literally just snowing outside now the sun is out I'm so over this weather. This lace? Can we get get into this lace though? What lace? Baby, I don't got no lace on. You can't tell all the way back here. You still can't tell. I mean, you can because you see that right there. But it, the lace is getting enough said. I'm going to take out my baby hair. I'm going to take this out. God, I hate these. I don't hate these nails, but like I have little charms on them and I would get them on these two fingers, which is like these three are my dominant, like my main fingers, but these two are my main fingers as well. I have charms on them. So like anytime I want to do my hair or something, it gets snagged every single time. believe the sun is out it was literally just snowing we're in fucking march march 12th spring is march 20th and it's been it was snowing all morning this weather so bipolar just like me weather's so moody i'm just so moody like i mean i'm happy next minute i'm sad i'm working on it though this even lace spray i know y'all heard about it a lot of the girlies on tiktok we i know y'all heard about it lace spray is the truth i don't want to say i stand by it because i've only used it like twice now but it is the truth and the hold is definitely extreme and supreme that's exactly what it says i got the black one i'm gonna spray my hairline with this spray too much i think i had to stop spraying it directly on there i don't want to do it like a far because it will make your lace crunchy. Now I'm about to flat iron my hair. Get this shit boom straight. I haven't had black hair in so long y'all. So I'm feeling myself. Black hair on black grass. Love a black woman from infinity to infinity. Is that black hair? I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it when you eat it. I love it. I love it. I love it when you eat it. Stack my cockiness. Like my persuasion. I want you to be my... Let anything that I desire. Can y'all believe, bitch? I haven't been on YouTube in so long. I feel so disconnected with y'all, and I really hate it. Like, I don't even want to talk about that. Let's not. Okay, another topic for another day. Bitch, can you believe Rihanna's pregnant? I just, I kept hearing the rumors, the suspicions. You know what I'm saying? And the suspicions was making sense, but I didn't want to like believe it, cause I'm like, nah, she's too good for that. Now with ASAP. Nah. Not with the man who said black women dark skins don't look good in red lipstick. 
nah like nah g lo and behold yeah but i'm happy for her because she looks so happy she looks so good the looks that she's been pulling off has been so bomb i'm just ready to figure out if it's a girl or boy or both or twins whatever two girls two i don't know because you know when you get the itch in your in the corny eye, yep. It's 5 15. I need to be gone by 7, but I also want to cook some chicken cheese steaks. So, the chicken is already, it's not gonna take too long. Okay. Besides the point, yo. Besides the point. What was I even talking about, y'all? My mind be everywhere. Like, I can't ever seem to focus on one thing. Oh, damn. Okay. Rihanna. She looks bomb. She looks amazing, and I'm just ready to find out. So much going on, y'all. It's so much going on. Baby, get it together. Okay. Turning on my flat irons. I'm gonna put on this hair. And like I said, I wanna do a bang. I should have taken pictures of like the bang that I saw on Pinterest. I'm gonna, hold on, let me get my MacBook. Y'all be about to have my MacBook. <laughs> Bitch, why my MacBook? Okay. My high ass, I would get so high. You so high, your throat start like getting dry. You can come out. Cool. I will go get water, a glass of water. I like sleep with teddy bears, cancer shit, okay? I like teddy bears, I sleep with my teddy bears. I would be high, keep that in mind, be high on my mind, right? Get water, glass, put it in between my teddy bears, like, like set it up in between one teddy bear's legs and then like put other teddy bears around it to keep it, you know, put together, like, so it doesn't fall. MacBook would be, like, probably two feet in front of the teddy bears in the water bottle. I mean, the water, glass of water. Speaking of water, let me take a sip. I'm hot. So, say I would get up or go change my clothes or something, anything in the world. Come back. I would plop on my bed, like, bitch, you have water there. Or, that would be one scenario. Or, two, I would... Be in my bed, I won't get up. I will put the water in between the teddy bears or whatever. I would move aggressively in my bed, forgetting that the water is there. So, this will happen often, like, often. I would do this every single time. It will be back to back too. And it happened to, to the point, it happened probably like seven or eight times. And I just kept taking it for granted. I just kept doing it, just kept doing it. It was like, oh, it'll be all right. Cause my laptop was, was all right every single time. Till it wasn't no more. Baby mad hurt distraught upset bitch like i couldn't believe it is you serious to me right now like all them times i spill water on you and you just gonna fuck up on me like all them times you're not gonna you're not gonna stick it out for me like narcissists be like <laughs> no but yeah i was so hurt i guess my macbook was done for at least i thought why the fuck i turned it on like three days ago and it started working Mm. I went eight months without a MacBook. I turned it on three, four days ago. It's moving and working like brand new. Like ain't nothing wrong with it. I guess the girl has to dry out. I guess she was over me. I guess she was tired of my bullshit. I guess she was tired of being taken granted of. Taken for granted, whatever the fuck. And she decided I'm gonna turn on when I feel like it. So and that's exactly what the fuck she did. Anyway, I got my MacBook back, y'all. And I'm happy. I'm going to see my hubby. I'm happy. I'm happy. We're going to go through this real quick, okay? We're going to flat iron through this hair real nice and speedy. This hair is bomb, amazing. It's thick. It's full. It's jet black. The lace is HD. It's bomb. So I want my bangs to be this is how I want my bangs to look. Normally, I do thick bangs. I never look at any ex like um, what is it inspiration i never look at any tutorials y'all know me if you know me y'all know me i just do it like i don't think twice about it i just do it and i always make it work in the end but this time i want to be on point I'm going for a certain look i'm not just going off the dome i'm gonna try my hardest to achieve that i just i think it's like you just use less hair i mean obviously that's the only thing that would make sense <laughs> You don't care, I don't care, my feelings ain't hurt, bitch. 
Okay, hear me out. Hear me out. Half of the lace is cut off. I know I said I was gonna do bangs, but do you see? I know you see that. I know you see it. I know you see this. It's giving my hair like. <laughs> I might just have to do bangs tomorrow or something because this is giving cute silk prep. <laughs> This hair is bomb, wait. It's too bomb. I forgot how good HD lace was, bro. I might just have to sit this one out. I might have to just um continue this video tomorrow. Bro, I don't know why, but this side always, always, it never fails, comes out better than this side. Why, the f why does it look like this? Why is it like that? I'm just gonna add more glue there and then probably put my band back on after I do my baby hair. Yes. I love that. Normally, sometimes when I raise my forehead with like transparent lace or something, it'll show the lace. I just, I hate that. Okay, it's still like giving white, but I'ma just lay my lace down and hope for the best chill. Yeah, that's annoying. This is the ending or the final product. I finally like got the little side piece together. Last time I saw y'all, it was looking real white. This is gonna have to do. I'm gonna go to the movies to see Batman. And I got the 4DX seat, so it's like it, it's moving and shit, and these spray shit on you. I'm gonna go run to the Dollar Tree real quick so I can get some snacks and all that and all that there. This is the final product for today. I will be back. And I will be putting the bangs in this house. But I'll see you guys later. Bye. So, I'm back. It's like two or three days later because I'm a fucking lazy person, right? So, anyway, um, let's get into this lace. My lace is kind of fucked. Okay, it's kind of messed up. Um, as you can see, it's like kind of dark around there. I'm back. I had to change my um, battery. So, now we got to get into the bang. This side is a bit more tangly. I don't know, I always do my left side better than my right, even though I'm right-handed. It's giving real hair. This is my hair, like, this is my hair. So, we're gonna take a little section like I just did. A little section right here. Let's just hope this is enough hair. My hair, another thing, is kinda like oily a little bit in the front, so my hair, it's like thin looking. So I can't really tell if this is too much or too little. I'm so scared. Maybe I should do it small and go make it big. I want it like like right here. So I'm gonna cut like, I was gonna cut straight across, but I like upward in a sense. Oh my goodness. Did I really just do that? I wasn't even thinking when I did it, I just did it. Okay. Maybe I should. Oh my god, it looks stupid. Bro, no, this is not. Let me not panic. Okay. I'm gonna cry if this doesn't come out right. What the fuck? Should I wet my hair so it can get like thicker? <sighs> I'm gonna stay calm. I'm not eating it. I'm not. <laughs> so they're not bad. It's just like the bangs are hella choppy when I don't curl them. But it's kind of good, man. Okay, we get it. Okay, this is why you just need to stay down. Because how many of us were scared? How many of us were scared? Don't lie to me. Okay, but this is given. This is kind of given. Y'all, this is the end of this video. Shout out to RPG here. How am I saying this is the end of this video and I'm still like trying to fix my hair? I'm a fucking perfectionist. That's what it is. And that's why I can't ever be satisfied. Cause I like to think that shit needs to be perfect even when it already looks decent and I just keep trying to fucking fix it 
Bitch, leave it alone. You're not eating it. You're not. Okay, this is cute. Okay. Shout out to RPG Hair for sending me this 22 inch. I think, if I'm not mistaken, everything will be in the description box. This is some Bomb Hair HD Lace. Period. Y'all seen what the lace was giving when I first put it on, but my bonnet messed it up. You get new bonnets sometimes the ink bleeds and it's like a navy blue bonnet. It's like navy blue, so the band was like bleeding the ink onto my hairline because I didn't put a scarf under it. Anyway, um, thank y'all so much for sending me this hair, sponsoring this video. Shout out to y'all. I have fun, and I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye, bitches.